Hello there. This was uh, another round of my Sunday night, what have I been doing in Minecraft, and this week I think I'm going to highlight my kind of current project I've been working on over the past few months. Um, not on the regular at all, but I'm starting up a new project that will need it again. And this is taking OpenStreetMap data, specifically from Mapbox right now, and turning it into Minecraft. So uh, if we look at a map here, this is Google Maps of the University of Massachusetts Amherst. There's all these buildings here, there's roads, there's the campus pond, it's all mapped out here. So I've been, been writing a program that takes all this data and outputs it into Minecraft. So if we say take some, somewhere on the library, we copy the latitude and longitude. And in Minecraft here, we use a new command called set location, and we give it our latitude and longitude. It will start constructing a copy of the terrain data, the road data, the building data, and the water data into the world. Something I did notice is that it is missing the paths, so I'll need to update that. But essentially, what it's doing is it fetched these tiles from Mapbox that I wrote some custom styles that show only the terrain, only the roads, only the buildings, and only the water. And those are all outputted as RGB images. I then stack them and just read the color values to determine what blocks I should place where. So when I add paths, I'll just add a new tile that is the uh, paths tile. And maybe I'll make those gravel or something. Or I guess it's probably a block that won't fall. But right now it is constructing the campus. And it's a little hard to see what things are from this little view here. But if you notice this building here, it's kind of got a unique shape. If I rotate around, so we're looking at it from this angle. On the map here, you can see that this is actually um, Thompson Hall and Macmur Hall here. That's here. So the library is right there. This is South College, just this long strip. And you can see it has the terrain. So this hill next to South College is all a hill. Got to climb up it. It accurately has that. We have, this is the library. It doesn't have this path area here that normally would sit in front of the library. Um, so that will be part of the paths. So the fine details will have to be built by actual players. Here's the old chapel, some other buildings around the university, and here's the campus pond. Right now I only fetch one tile at a time, which means that the world kind of just ends here. It falls off into the void. I've also noticed that water that has multiple levels, so the campus pond is really big, it has different depth values, it kind of spills over the edge right here because the terrain goes down a little bit. So that will need to be fixed in a future version as well. But this is just taking data from OpenStreetMap, copying it into Minecraft, a quick demo of that. It generates these tiles, like I said, that are RGB. That's how it places things, so this is the library here. And here's the library in Google Maps. And here's the library in Minecraft. And this is two scale. So if you know every block in Minecraft is a meter, so this is roughly to scale. And it calculates this on first load. It can't be super accurate because of the uh, higher, lower you go in latitude, the scale of resolution to blocks changes. And I do my best estimation of that but it can't be quite perfect, but it's a good rough summary. The idea is that eventually this will be completely tileable. So you'll go to a website, you'll select a huge region, it will generate the config files, you drop in the plugin, and it will just go. You will need a Mapbox API key, though I am looking at moving it from Mapbox to OpenStreetMap, but I think I wanna, since so much of it's working with Mapbox, I think I'll stick with it for a little while. So that's this demo. Uh, I don't have source up right now, but it's once I have everything I want working, I'll upload the source as well as instructions and how to set it up yourselves. And it will also come with a website that will have the ability to select your regions for you. You won't have to manually go in and copy every single latitude and longitude and place them in your world. Because to do the whole campus, I'm going to need a ton of tiles, and right now this only does one tile at a time. Yeah, so paths would be nice. It'd also be nice to add trees, though that's a little harder. On UMass, we could actually do trees because there's a student organization that 
keeps track of where all the trees on campus are. But for in general, it might be like forest patches is the best we can do. Yeah, this is this plugin that I'm working on, turning public street map data into Minecraft worlds. And I'll see you guys next Sunday.